So this is uh, one of the tender side bolster castings, and two of them are missing. So we had Martin Ironworks up in Portland, a pattern works, make uh, two new patterns for us, and then Lodo Ironworks just cast them, and they're ready actually today. Wow. So we can put that, and we start putting the tender back together. We've taken all the old welding off there, and then uh, this was last season in the movie, uh, 1999, with Will Smith called uh, Wild Wild West. Oh, wow. And still uh, numbered for the 119 that it represented. We've, inside, we found some of the old cut levers and some of the brake rigging. And then uh, also the top, we found the control valves, so air reservoir. So there's quite a few parts that were left in here. They cut out the back to put a large air tank in here. They ran this on compressed air for the last few years. Is that, a, is that also why it's uh, yes. crowned there? It come up. So we'll, we'll straighten all that out. And this is the original Baldwin number right here. Uh, 27 and a half, 350, and that's the original part of the tender. They gas welded the lower section probably in the 30s, uh, repaired the bottom section, so that's all actually pretty new, for relatively so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have all the piping right here, the through rods, it doesn't look like much, but then uh, we have... A, Go ahead. I'm, I'm the engine here. came with about four or five smokestacks. So this is the side frames for the tender, and then this is uh, the oil burning stack. We'll put that back on. That's kind of in the famous pictures in the late 30s when it ran up through Gold Hill. And these wheel sets were with the engine, and they used that in the movie Union Pacific on the old um, uh, blacksmith car. Oh, wow. And so they they're still remain from that. And they're built by the Central Pacific shops in Sacramento. Probably used to build the Central Pacific Railroad, and then uh, the V&T bottom second hand from the S uh, Central Pacific. One of the harp stands here, I think that's a Central Pacific harp stand. I forget the difference between the V&T ones and the CP, but I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Then we have the Reno tender frame. So we've taken everything apart on the tender. <clears throat> and uh, the eight inch I-beams here, were uh, the railroad had done that, probably the SP had done that early on. Um, I think Chris said one of the other four faros had these beams on there. Um, replacing the 8x8 eight eight timbers for the tender bolster side beams and then I welded some of our old leftover tunnel beams which are also 8 inch for some of the center supports and then we'll, we'll uh, get the uh, select lumber for here and mount the coupler and then the front draw bar and the, the buff rear coupler and the front draw bar and buffer plate and then uh, these are the tender um, trucks we needle scaled and cleaned the, 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 the the sockets out, so we'll graphite those back up. Uh, but this is how it was built by Baldwin, you know. And then uh, well, I think one of these was off the Genoa originally. I think that was one. But we'll put this back on there, and then we'll start putting the tender back together, so Lisa can move back and forth these lean. Yes, yeah. we get a movie shoot or something to do. Well, you have to get ready for uh, the, the steam State up. Railroad Museum steam up uh, this July Fourth weekend. We'll take or uh, July Fourth. We'll take uh, the Reno down there. And then be on display with the other, all the other VNT engines. Some of the California VNT engines are coming up too. So wow, it'd be a good, it'd also, be a good show down there. The one from Independence, I think the number. Yeah, they're coming in. Cool. Uh, and, Jack Greenhall is bringing the Glenbrook stagecoach. Plus, we're bringing the 1876 Clappin Jones steam fire engine there. Wow. And so demonstrate. It'd be a lot of good stuff down there. And then just just to make sure I fully understand, you put this in this. Yeah. Okay, cool. They, the, the railroad had put these in and they welded some angle brackets so you bolt in the timbers. So I just replaced it with these, oh, this yeah. part of it. There's still a center 12 by 12 beam that goes here and then the air brake uh, tanks and cylinder hangs off of this. And so I'll let this, and then the side beams are uh, about, they're about six by tens. And then we bolt the, the edge pieces on there and then there's the cross rods and then there's the four big through rods that hold everything tight together this wow. way. And this used to pull the Lightning Express up the hill from Reno, so that's a pretty good load on the tender. <laughs> How many coaches was that? That was four. They wow. probably even had five at some times. Huh. It's amazing that little machine did that, but it did. But they were lighter coaches? Lighter than, uh... coaches, smaller, and everything kind of worked together, you know. The rail was smaller. Now with the 
In the 60s, they put bigger, heavier rail, and the diesel locomotives that don't have a rigid wheelbase and they have a heavier point load, so, you know, all that. Yeah, cool. <clears throat> well, I, I, I probably don't, but <laughs> now I do. Um, so what else do we want to look at? Uh, well, over there we got nine loads out of old Tucson Studios. Uh, pretty much sawdust, but Boxcar 1001, which the Union Pacific, they used for the Union Pacific movie in the late 1930s was there, the blacksmith car, and then uh, V&T Boxcar 1007 was there. Okay. And uh, so the trucks and, uh, and, the, and the frames are still there. And then the 1874 Wells and French Derrick car, a really rare, unique car was still there. And actually another section cart built by the Central Pacific was there, plus all the movie props, the leftover components from the V&T uh, coaches that burnt in the fire. I think it was oh, coach wow. number one, I forget. Uh, the wheels were there and then coach uh, 17 or 18, I forget. The wheels were there, but um, the trucks were gone. And then, uh, but there's a stack of Lincoln pin couplers and sockets. So. Wow. That was all that was left there, so we grabbed it, you know.